What is going on guys? My name is Aura and before we get into the video I just want to point out that this isn't really scripted so I'm gonna kind of ramble a bit and uh, it's this video isn't for any of you to feel bad for me or anything it's more just to kind of get it off my chest and tell you what's happened to me over the past six months and basically how the past six months of my life have been the worst ever. <laughs> Uh, of course, I know like it could it could get way worse than what happened way way worse And I know you some of you guys have probably gone through worse, but this is basically The worst six months of my life and so almost six months ago Vontae uploaded a video to the channel basically telling you guys I was homeless and that I would be back soon now six months later I have uploaded quite a few videos, but I was basically still homeless until just a couple weeks ago now the reason for this was not really anyone's fault, basically just some family issues occurred. I would go into more detail, but it's not my situation to share, and it ended up me getting evicted and basically being on the street by myself for a little bit. Now let's rewind a bit. For my entire life, I lived with both my mom and my grandmother up until about 2015. I also lived with my uncle, but he was kind of a in and out kind of thing it was kind of like he kind of stayed with me my entire life but it was on and off because he ended up getting his own place a couple times but then he had it uh, he ended up needing to move in with us to get on his feet again a couple a couple times <clears throat> and basically that's what happened but basically they ended up moving out in 2015 because my grandma got a bit of money and she bought her, both her and him a house and the reason she moved out was cuz she's kind of old and she didn't want me or my sister basically finding her dead in our house. That was something she worried about constantly. So she ended up buying a house and moving out with just him and basically so he could take care of her. <clears throat> and when she bought the new house, she basically told me, my sister and my mom, that if we ever needed another place to stay, that that was our second home and we were welcome to stay there anytime we needed to. Now, fast forward a couple weeks, about a week before we got evicted, my grandma ended up falling and both breaking her leg and her arm, which she's still going through therapy for it today. Um, basically, uh, she did that and she ended up having to stay in the hospital. So fast forward to the day we got evicted. We got everything moved into storage because, you know, we were legit. We legit had only five days to get out the house. So we the last day we had everything else moved into the lawn when the sheriff came to lock the house. So we. Basically, we're having to get move everything off the lawn to the storages. We get everything to the storages, and it was a stressful day. Uh, but we get everything in the storages, and we're planning on getting a house in a week or so, a couple weeks. Uh, and basically, we were only supposed to be out of the house for, you know, without a home for like two weeks. Now, after we get everything into storage, we're legit... I'm, we are in my mom's car behind, you know, her friend driving the moving truck back to the U-Haul place. But the car uh, ends up breaking down. The back tire, <laughs> we stop at a red light, and when she goes, you can see that her, ba her back tire legit pops off the car. <laughs> And it legit just starts rolling down the road. It was legit funny. Uh, it, was, it was horrible, but it's funny looking at it now. Um... But the truck was late, so her friend just kept driving it and just turned it in. But basically, we were stuck there without a tire. And, and basically, we were stuck there at a red light with the tire popped off for about 45 minutes. Now, me and my mother both suffer from anxiety slash panic attacks. So that kind of caused us to start freaking out a little bit. So we decided 45 minutes later that it might be a while before we have someone come fix the car. We don't want to just sit here and we... And we, uh, we can't just, you know, leave the car here in, at a red light. So we decided, all right, so we'll get the cart towed. So my mom calls the tow truck. The tow truck comes within 20 minutes, and she gets in the car along with my cousin who was with us that was helping us move, and they ended up going to my grandma's. And uh, me, my friend, and, my, and his friend, who was also helping us move, we basically ended up having to walk. So when my mom got to the house, she really had to use the restroom. So we ended up, you know, we didn't have a key to the house because no one was there. My uncle was at work and my sister, who was already basically staying there for the year for school reasons, uh, basically 
uh, they weren't there. So, my, but we called my sister, and she's like, "All right, if you need to get in, just come get the key, and we'll let you in." So we go, uh, me and my friend. Uh, because it was qu- a bit far for walking and uh, I'm not the most physical person, we decided to get a taxi. So we ended up having the taxi take us to go get the key and then we ended up going to the house. And so when I opened the door, the alarm ended up going off. Now, if you don't know about a hassle alarm, you have about two minutes to turn it off before the cops are called. Now, I ended up spamming my sister and my uncle's phone, like, what's the code, what's the code? None of them were answering, and by the time they answered, the police were already called. So, so basically, the police ended up showing up. We told them there was nothing wrong. This was our grandma and uncle's house. They got my mom's ID, and they ended up leaving. Uh, but when my uncle got back, he was kind of mad. Um... The guy who, the tow truck guy, uh, he refused to park the car, like, on the, you know, the side of the road where, you know, you're allowed to park your car. Uh, he said he wasn't allowed to do that. So, he ended up parking it in his driveway, which is up a hill, and it ended up scratching it really bad. The police was at his house, and basically, uh, because it took so long for us to get in the house, my mother ended up pissing herself. Um, and basically... Uh, we ended up getting cussed out. My grandma was in the hospital, and she was the one who said we could stay here. We were planning on asking if we could stay there for two nights while we f- tried to figure out what we were going to do. We were planning on getting a house as soon as possible. We just needed a place to stay. But he ended up kicking my mo- mom out, and because, you know, I'm a mama's boy, and, uh, you know, I stood up for my mom because what he did, you know, he was kind of being an asshole. I stood up, and he ended up kicking me out as well. So I, we ended up not having a place to stay anymore. Uh, and, you know, uh, I ended up dropping uh, dropping some of my stuff that I was carrying and breaking it, too. Basically, we had nowhere to go. My mom had nowhere to go, and I wasn't about to, you know, ditch ditch my mom. So we ended up... We ended up having to spend some of the money we had planned to get a house with on hotel rooms. And, you know, hotel rooms aren't cheap. But exactly one week after this happened, we were still in a hotel trying to find a new home because some of the ones we applied for ended up being, you know, we would have to wait a couple weeks or we would have to wait a couple months. And we didn't really have that time. So we were, like, really focusing on trying to find a place to stay. But, uh... Basically, some things happened in the past, so my mom basically had to had to go to court to fight some stuff, you know, every, you know, every couple months, but she ended up missing her court date. Um and after she missed her court date, she ended up, you know, her her bondsman said, "You know what? Come in and we'll do a walk through and you shouldn't and uh, because basically she had a warrant out for for her arrest for basically missing court. Um, now he said, you'll in and out. Do a walkthrough, you'll be in and you'll be out. She went in, and she didn't come out. And now I was stranded in a hotel room by myself, and I had no way of getting a place to stay. Now, I went back, and I called my uncle, and I asked him if I could stay with him again. I call. I asked him twice, and he ended up saying no. And the night my mom went to jail, uh, some friends that came to check on me to see if I was doing okay and was uh, trying to help me out, they ended up basically ended up getting me kicked out of that hotel room. So basically, I had to have someone rent a hotel room for me because basically. Any hotel room near me, uh, I'm 18, but you have to be, like, 21 to rent, which is stupid. Um, so had to do that, and basically had to move hotel rooms, had to move stuff between storages, and, you know, I didn't have, I couldn't really afford to stay in a hotel room forever, so I ended up having to bounce between friends and other members of family. Now, of course, I had a couple uh, more permanent places I could have stayed that were 
out of town slash out of state, but I needed to stay where I was because not only did I have to make sure our storages were paid for so we didn't lose all our stuff, which I paid for, you know, using both me and my mother's uh, disability checks, I also had to talk to different lawyers. Uh, I ended up paying two different lawyers, which one of them I ended up having to fire because he was was a crackhead. Um, (laughs) But basically, I ended up having to pay a lawyer because... My mom was only in jail for missing the court date. Uh, She missed one beforehand, too. She Legit, these were months apart ones she missed, but she ended up missing, like, two to three court dates. And that was basically the only reason she was in there. So for the next three months, I was talking to a lawyer trying to get her out. Uh, Well, I was also trying to... I also had a graduation for my uh, high school equivalency diploma... I also, um, trying to find a place to stay, I even tried getting my own apartment, uh, which, that ended up falling through, but basically, uh, I was ending up having to do all this for three, four months, from January to May, but in May, a miracle happened, and my mother ended up getting out, um, She ended up getting on a program, and she's been out ever since. But by the time she was out, we had no money, nowhere to really stay, and basically we were fucked. Let's go back a bit. Uh, Basically, for those months, I was also fighting with Social Security because they cut off my disability check. So I ended up having to go through a re-review, but they ended up t- turning my check on until the uh, re- uh, the review went uh, went through. But basically, when she got out, hers was cut off. So in order to make sure we had a place to stay, because I already spent uh, the money I had on our storages and stuff, uh, and my check wasn't uh, that much. It was it was barely enough for anyone to live on. Uh, basically, my bank account was already kind of negative. So I ended up having to completely overdraft it to, uh, for us to have a place to stay. Um, the f- first came around, she, I got my check. Uh, I was, <laughs> I had to end up, I ended up having to pay off my overdrafts. I didn't have much, uh, and my mom got her check back on, but it was reduced a lot um, because she she went up there because they ended up having to take out about 80% of her check for that month. So, um, we ended up having just enough money to basically eat for that month, um, and pay for our storages and our phone bills. So, but we ended up having to, you know, stay with friends slash family for about a month and a half. We were basically playing the waiting game. Now, during this time, my stepdad was helping a little bit, um... Of course, he was out of state, so he couldn't help too much, but he ended up helping us earn a little bit of money so we could, you know, get a a new apartment. Once we got both our checks the next month, we ended up having to overdraft our account again for everything, but basically now we are in an apartment and we're a bit better off, but even though we're out of that storm, we're kind of in a bunch of new ones. (laughs) Like, everything hits at once. Uh, currently, uh, I'm having to appeal them about to turn off my disability check, which they're supposed to, you know, continue until I've, uh, hit, uh, 21 or I finish school, um, which, you know, that includes college, whichever one happens first, which I'm going to college this year, and, you know, I'm not 21 yet, but that's, like, two years off, uh, uh, my grandma is... She's a bit better uh, from when she broke her leg and arm. She has a nurse coming to her house every day to take care of her. Um, But she's having a bit of heart problems. Now, even though that's the case and she's quite old, I still believe she has a few more years in her uh, because our family is strong like that and you got to stay positive, you know? Uh, But I also have a cousin now who's in a coma from hitting a a transformer. Transformer. I don't know what it's called, like a power thing on the side of the road, um, a fuse box, something, something along those lines, and it basically exploded the car and ended up giving him serious brain damage, broken neck, and a broken, broken rib, 
Um, but he's, you know, he's alive. It's just he's in a coma, but his, you know, his pupils and legs and arms and stuff are responding. Um, but even though we're kind a bit out of that wood, those woods, uh, now we're in a desert. Fuck. <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, I'm not making this video for you guys to feel bad for me. That's the last thing I would want. Don't make fun of me. Don't, f don't feel pity for me. The... The one thing that has happened over this six months, though, that has made me the most depressed is that I didn't have too many people to help me. I ended up doing it mostly on my own, which is encouraging that I was able to, but, you know, when you feel you have people there, uh, and they say they're there, but once something happens, they are no longer there. That is, like, the biggest heartbreak ever. Now, thanks to my phone's like Wi-Fi um, I was able to be on discord most of the time while this entire situation was happening so I at least could talk to you know some of my online friends I was able to still contact with you guys I was able to use my phone's Wi-Fi to record videos on my PC uh, where I was staying sometimes and upload that using my phone's uh, Wi-Fi but basically I was on discord and some other than people like Vante and Dodo, who have been there for me this during this entire situation, uh, uh, which y you guys might not know who Dodo is. <laughs> Y'all probably don't. He's never been in a video, but he's a, he's a really close friend that I've known for a couple years. Now, this might sound a little petty, and you might judge me for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. But basically, these two people I met through this channel, and they met... And I became good friends with them, and then eventually they became good friends through me. Basically, over the past six months, they've become, you know, a lot closer friends. Now, they probably don't realize this is how it seems uh, to me, or, you know, how it seems in general, but they've left me in the dust while they've become really good friends. And it just makes me sad. You know, they still talk to me in my Discord and stuff, and when I PM them, they talk to me, but it's very rare for them to engage in conversations with me, um, even though you can clearly see that they've been, you know, they've become really close. Now, I know people drift apart, and I know th this kind of situation happens a lot. It's happened to me quite a few times before this. It just hurts this time because it seems like it was... It wasn't natural, you know? Like, it's hard to explain. It just sucks that it seems more now like I'm the third wheel in a friendship rather than, you know, on equal ground with with them. And it just sucks. It sucks. Uh, you don't know how many times I wished, you know, not just these people, but other people would just engage in conversations with me, would start the conversation instead of me having to, you know go and start the conversation with someone else. Because over the past six months, my mental state has not been the best. I've, my anxiety problems have quadrupled, my depression has gotten worse. And, you know, just talking to people, but talking to people, you know, helped, made me feel at least slightly better. It helped me get through another day. But it just seemed like, you know, some certain people I thought would be there just weren't. They were distant. And they didn't they didn't start the conversation. The only time I got to talk to them was when I started the conversation, which was already hard for me to do. And it just, and it just sucks. And it's just depressing. And it just makes me sad. If y'all didn't know my birthday was a few days ago, and it was depressing cuz I ended, I was I was alone on it. The only person I really hung out with that day was my mom. My sister ended up ditching me. Uh, my friend was, you know, sick in bed. Uh, and it was hard for me to start a conversation with people online due to how my anxiety is and my mental state is. And it just, it just sucked. This past six months, it just sucked. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I guess, a little emotional towards the end of this. I didn't really, exp I thought it was more, you know, over all of this. But I guess once you start talking about it, you start feeling, start feeling it all again. Uh, but anyway, guys, again, 
This was just me trying to get it off my chest. Don't feel bad for me. It's like this shit. It, it, it's mostly over now. I'm still going through a lot, but aren't we all going through a lot? I know some of you might be going through a lot worse. I know that it could be way worse, but... Mmm... I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can check out my previous video here, or even a playlist related to this video here. There is also a video that was picked out by YouTube just for you, and last but not least, you can click here to subscribe. Anyway guys, my name is Aura, and I'll see you later. Take care.